Hey, what's up everyone? Today, we're going to be checking out the SV02. So this printer is really easy to assemble and it looks very similar to its predecessor, the SV01. The SV02 comes with silent motors, a dual extruder system, and it also comes with a touchscreen. So although this model does take two rolls of filament or two intakes of filament, it does not have a filament sensor. On this machine, the two rolls of filament sit on the top side. The way the filament is fed on this machine is from the top to bottom on the sides of the machine. At first, I thought this was going to be an issue, but I haven't encountered any errors so far. So the slicing method on this machine compared to other machines is somewhat different because you have to set up the settings in your slicer. For example, in my case, is Cura. You have to set up the settings for two extruders. So it's pretty much simple as assigning extruders to each model and then pretty much combining the model if you're making a combined model such as these. Um, also, Savol is providing a Cura settings in case you want to go look into that. So I was ready to start my first print and uh, this was the uh, cube box. The print did come with an error and that was a layer shift in its third layer and that's pretty visible right away but I didn't see that happen in any of the other prints after that. And also this printer has a setting that comes with a purge tower, meaning that every time the layer finishes with one filament, it will go to a certain space of your bed and layer down remaining filament of, of the previous filament, meaning that if it's working with filament A, it will do the layer that it's supposed to do, once it's done with that, it will go and purge in the tower, finish that, suck in the filament B, and then go do that layer. Once it's done with that, go to the tower, purge filament B, and come back to filament A, and so on. So this process pretty much assures that the correct filament is applied on the right area meaning that the machine will purge enough filament to know that it is working with the right filament once it goes back to the position that it was supposed to be printing on. So the machine does come with good calibration overall and that is visible in not only in the first but in every other print after that. So I decided to go and search for new models to print and I did encounter that there isn't a lot of models available for dual printing. So making models to print with dual filaments is not really that hard, but obviously it is time consuming. So I decided to go with the ones that Savol has available at the moment, which is these models right here. The really good models to pretty much um, get an idea of what the model's capabilities are. In every model, it has pretty much a different setting, like the little penguin and has a lot of circles. So it's kind of easier for the printer to make those kind of shapes in the colors uh, specifically. Not only that, the size of the print itself and the size of the color difference is pretty no noticeable. So you will get a pretty good outcome. But if you compare that with a little cat that has really small areas, um, in these areas you will see a lot of more difference around the edges of those areas and that is because of the layer height and so on the print settings and so on but obviously regardless of that the outcome is outstanding and the possibilities are endless so with five prints i had five great results so these five prints look amazing with no post processing uh, just right out of the bed and that is simply because of the color difference in these models. There is obviously some imperfections on the models of the way the printer printed the model because of so many things. But right away, these prints provide a different outcome to the user. It can make your prints a lot more fun to make. And not only that, 
if you're printing something cartoony. So the fact that you can print like this and pretty much have no post process to me would be ideally to be printing um, cartoon stuff and also very simple stuff. Not maybe not things with a lot of detail, but definitely stuff like this little penguin that looks like a cartoon. I can imagine so many other things that I can use this printer for and print, and I will be posting them also. All right, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.